Hey guys, Andy here. So I have today what will hopefully be an interesting head-to-head. -head. On the left we have my Realme X2 Pro, which I got last week. It has the Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset. It's got an octa-core processor, it's got an Adreno 640, and in the space it says 700 MHz. I don't know what it normally would be at, and 8 gig of RAM. And it's going up against, on the right-hand side, what I would say is the kind of the crowned prince of the mid-range at the moment, the Redmi K20 Pro. With its Snapdragon 855 chipset, it's got an octa-core processor, Adreno 640, and also 8 gig of RAM. So they're very similar, the Realme having the Plus chipset, and on paper it has slightly faster um, cores, which I think is due to the Plus, but uh, we might see shortly that actually they look to be running the same speed. But uh, anyway, let's crack on with the fingerprint sensor test. And I don't know, I, I think it's really hard to separate the two. They're both actually very quick for in-screen fingerprint sensors. Possibly the K20 Pro, there's a couple of times it was slightly quicker, but I, th I think it has to be a draw. Um, we're going to move straight on with the Angry Birds 2 opening test. Now you might expect the Realme X2 Pro to be the quicker, but... The K20 Pro, I mean, again, there's not a lot in it. Really very similar. I've cleared both of them's memory, and we'll do a second run, just to verify the result of the first run, I suppose. And, yeah, once again, again, it's so close. You wouldn't really, if you're a Realme X2 Pro, no, you're not looking at this thinking, oh, my God, I bought the wrong device. <laughs> um, so we're moving on to the benchmarking, and I've moved up to Geekbench 5, which has recently come out. It does mean I don't know what the numbers mean because I've not got much of a comparison, but uh, let's skip ahead to the end and we'll see 2643 for the K20 Pro, which is finished a bit quicker than the X2 Pro. Um, but let's see what Realme will score as the result finally comes in. 2646. Again, you could say technically the Realme one, but I don't think you've got to give it another draw, haven't you? That's, I mean, they're so similar. It's interesting the single core performance is much better on the uh, Redmi K20 Pro. But, uh, I mean, those are, you're not going to get much of it. I could probably run it again and wouldn't get it that close within three points. Anyway, outside to test the GPS, and I'm going to clear both of the AGPS data. And then I quit out, quit the apps, start the apps again. And that, I don't know, like that, another one. Oh, these these devices are so similar. So similar. It made me think, oh, I'm really not sure. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it again. So I went through the routine again. I cleared the OGPS data, cleared all of the apps, went back into the app. And the K20 Pro edged through, I think. Um, so I think I will give, G again, it's so close. You it almost maybe should call it a tie, but I'm going to give it to the K20 Pro. Back indoors now to test the speakers on the devices, make sure they're both up to full, and we're gonna play a bit of music. Tell me where to go, tell me what to do. I'll be right there for you. Tell me where to go, tell me what to do. I'll be right there for you. Tell me what to say, and better if it's true. I'll say it all for you, for you. Tell me what to say, and better if it's true. Once again, really similar. The K20 Pro on the right does just sound slightly clearer. Um, we're going to move on to a podcast to see how the voice sounds. Essentially gave organizations like GCHQ and the NSA a free reign to go do mass surveillance. It also uh, overturned a lot of the rules and laws. And now we're in the situation. Essentially gave organizations like GCHQ and the NSA a free reign to go do mass surveillance. It also uh, overturned a lot of the rules and laws. Buyers are being overwhelmed, quite frankly, with inquiries uh, about uh, various years and uh, search engine providers 
are being overwhelmed, quite frankly, with inquiries uh, about yeah. cases, who the users are, and the government's trying to basically subpoena all these uh, various use cases, who the users are, and the government's trying to... Again, so similar. Volume-wise, possibly the real me, but I just think the clarity goes over to the right-hand side for the red me. Um, so we're going to award the speaker to the Redmi K20 Pro as we move on to the screen brightness test. Crank them both up to full on manual. Get out my light meter. And we're looking at the mid 700, 760, 769, 760 or so for the X2 Pro. And guess what? Well, I mean, it did bounce into the 770s there, but generally we're looking 760s oh. I, it's a tough call again I'm, well, I could lean towards the X2 Pro on the left but at the same time they're just too similar it's another tie and <laughs> it's becoming really hard to, to to separate these two devices we move on to the Chrome browser test a um, bit of a change up we are going to go to the Argos website well, the K20 Pro edged through like by milliseconds. Let's see what we can go to. We'll go to Amazon. And in that one, maybe the Realme X2 Pro edged through again by milliseconds. Finish up on everyone's favorite website. And that was the K20 Pro, but they're so similar. I just, again, feel it would be unfair to award one over the other. So I think I'll give that as a tie as well. Now these are all my decisions on how I've interpreted the results. Obviously you might be keeping score differently. Let me know in the comments if you if you have got a different score. But there we go. Really not much to separate these two devices. So I thought it was quite interesting. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But for now, my name is Andy. I will catch you all again soon.